Hello, and welcome to The Dash, where we attempt to quench the thirst for knowledge for all the curious minds out there. In today's video, we will first be speaking about a very recent fire. Then, we will continue to speak about the safety of electric vehicle cars and batteries in general. Stick around till the end and maybe you'll decide to wait a few years before you purchase an electric vehicle. So, what exactly caught fire? The Tesla Mega Pack was on fire for four days straight at the Victorian Big Battery in Southeast Australia. The battery is owned and operated by renewable energy giant Neoin and was developed along with partners including Tesla Energy and Ausnet, with some construction by UGL. Tesla has not disclosed what types of cell it uses in the mega packs for this project, nor from which suppliers. As of now, the exact cause of the fire is still unknown and is under investigation. But we will do our best and let you know all that you can. Spanning an area nearly as big as a football stadium, it's one of the largest in the world. It was scheduled to be operational by the end of 2021, and the 300 megawatt battery should be able to store enough energy to power more than a million homes in Victoria for 30 minutes. Giant batteries are also crucial to meeting renewable energy goals. The state of Victoria aims to get half of its energy from renewable sources like wind and solar power by 2030. Batteries can fill in the gaps in energy supply when the sun doesn't shine and the wind doesn't blow. And why did the firefighters take four whole days to put it out? Well, water and electricity don't usually like to mix, but when it comes to the mega pack, there's an exception. Tesla actually recommends using water to put out any mega pack fires. The cells used in Tesla products do not contain any solid metallic lithium and thus do not react with water. To be fair though, the mega pack was quite promising, boosting up to 3 megawatt hours of electricity each. Extremely quick installation, pre assemblable by the way, just plug and play. Tesla also claims that it takes up to 40% less space than the current system on the market. Tesla's new Mega Pack order page shows a starting price of 1.2 million for a single Mega Pack system in California. Pricing varies slightly by state. Each Mega Pack comes with a 15 year, no defect and energy retention warranty. Once a Mega Pack has reached the end of its useful life, Tesla says they can be returned to be recycled. The battery is also very efficient. It saved Victoria $40 million in just one year. That was obviously including the cost of operating the system, which were replaced by it. As we mentioned earlier, we do not know the exact cause of the fire, but we did find some very interesting pieces of information. To create a significant fire in Tesla energy production, the enclosures need to be subject to an extreme external event. As such, a direct exposure to a large prolonged fire or severe physical impact. Hmm, what do you think about that? Let us know in the comments below. That was enough about the Mega Pack. Now let's talk about its younger sibling, the Tesla Powerwall. The Tesla Powerwall is a stylish and compact residential or light commercial use AC battery that stores energy farmed by the solar panels installed overhead. It can automatically detect power outages and get to work immediately. Everything about it can be monitored and directed using the Tesla app. Coming in at $7,500, you will have 1.5 kilowatt hours at your disposal. Would you trust Tesla with the Powerwall installed in your house? We really do wish to know. Let us know down below. Now, let's talk about electric vehicles. Electric vehicles have been undeniably thriving during the past couple of years. With jaw-dropping performance, unmatched carbon footprint, flashy technology, they are really a popular choice especially if you live in places which offer free recharges, priority shading parking in all areas, and other rewards all for free. 
like Dubai, for example. But there is a major downside, one that may deter millions of people from purchasing electric vehicles. They don't produce sound. This substantial con has and will continue to deter people for a very long time. Another downside, which is but nothing compared to minimal sound, is the battery which seems to frequently set itself ablaze. Although it's rather uncommon, the possibility still stands. We obviously aren't fit to suggest a fix, but if you ask me, a speaker and dummy exhaust should get the sound issue resolved. On a real note, the battery problem is really quite frightening. It goes off without much notice and then continues to engulf in a fiery blaze. The issue is causing mounting concern as a number of electric vehicle makers have warned owners not to leave their cars charging unattended or sitting fully charged in garages. To be honest, this comment is completely ridiculous. Imagine having to buy an electric vehicle only to sit beside it while it charges or constantly having to monitor it. We understand the point of not charging anything overnight or unattended, but this is a vehicle. It takes a long time to charge, should be almost always ready to use and cannot always be monitored. But the electric vehicle market is obviously very new and improvements will come along the way. Towards the end of 2020, flames started shooting out of a five-year-old Tesla Model S in Texas, and firefighters struggled to gain access to the cabin after the motorized doors failed to open. That must have been a very scary situation. Tesla has argued that its vehicles are much less likely to set themselves ablaze than gas-powered vehicles. But experts argue that electric vehicle fires are much more intense and can take much more longer to extinguish, up to 24 hours. Chevrolet recalled more than 60,000 of its bolt electric vehicles over concerns about the cars spontaneously combusting while parked with full batteries or charging. A couple in California were fast asleep when they woke up to their house on fire. One of their two Teslas had caught fire and set the other one on fire too, creating explosions strong enough to blow off the garage doors. Hyundai recalled 82,000 electric vehicles to replace their battery systems over fire safety concerns. We do not dislike the idea of electric vehicles taking over the automotive industry, but we definitely wish to see much needed car safety. Now that we're coming toward the end of this video, we have a question for you. Would you trust companies such as Tesla with your home batteries or with vehicles? Also, let us know what topics you would like to see us cover next time. We post two videos every week. You can show love by liking the video and subscribing. Thank you all for joining The Dash.